So let's make a ball and chain. So the first thing we're going to do for this ball and chain is to actually make uh, our chain links. So chain links, we're going to start off with a donut or a torus. And I'm going to make my donut uh, small enough so it actually um, uh, can be printed, uh, but it will still be, uh, look, it'll model a reasonable size and it'll print only just okay uh, on the powder printer. So the major radius I'm going to make it uh, is going to be, we'll go for um, a 5 mil, and the minor radius, I'm going to go for 1.5 mils of minor radius, just to make them quite thin. Uh, let's just go to top, and it's probably a good idea to keep it exactly on one of these points here. So for example, this uh, snap point here, make sure it's exactly on. Don't let it be in the middle, make sure it's exactly on. And click on that. I'm now going to use the sketch tool to draw a polyline and I'm going to click on the surface that I'm going to draw the sketch on which is just the main grid and I'm just going to go from here to here along this this uh, line here so it snaps and before I click anywhere else I'm going to click on the tick which exits the mode and I now have a line and the line's just flat on the ground so I'm going to now use the modify tool to choose the split solid method uh, the body I'm going to split is going to be my um, my uh, torus and the splitting entity will be the line. You get a nice big red line there and press enter and now I've got two donuts. So if I click on the top one and press the move and grab it by the arrow key and move it up, you'll see there that I've got an extra one here. I can now delete that sketch of that line uh, and I'm going to now grab in... Uh, a cylinder. Remember my radius was 1.5 for my torus and I'm going to go with a height of let's just go with a height of uh, 8. Okay and I need two of those so I'm going to click on this to select it so that it's all selected and glowing there. I'm going to press command C and command V and move the two separately. I'm going to press the home button now just to bring it nice and close so that I can see everything that I'm doing. I'm going to press the snap tool click on the top face of this cylinder, click on this face of the top half of this torus and it's going to snap together. Snap tool again, click on this particular one and it's going to snap together and then I'm going to come around here and look at this side. I'm using two uh, hands on my click but you could always use your orbit tool to orbit round and click away to turn that off and I'm going to use the snap tool to click on this, I'll use my orbit tool to orbit back around so that I can see what I'm doing over here and click away and then snap on this particular one here. So I've now got one link of my chain but it's currently in a group, it's actually in multiple groups. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to ungroup all so that none of them are grouped. So that all these objects are separate. I'm then going to merge them so they actually become one solid object as opposed to a group. So I'm going to click on Merge and click on all of them and press Enter. So now they're one object. To make a chain, it's now a pretty easy affair of basically just going Command-C and Command-V or Control-C and Control-V on the PC. I'm going to move it down to about here. And then I'm going to click on this little round circle here and type in 90 degrees for my turn. You can see now that I've got a chain and as long as those two aren't touching, you are quite right to do this. In fact, you could go a bit further with this particular chain if it matters to you and move it right so that it's really quite close. Because we're printing on a powder printer, it doesn't matter if they're, um, uh, they're close or far, but basically we're nice and close uh, in regards to that. So basically, uh, let's just keep on going. I'm going to press the home button now and I'm going to press control C. Actually, I'll press control C on this one. Control V on this one, and then just drag it up the other end, and now I've got two. So I've got uh, a middle link and two side links there. So I've got my chain starting to happen. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go Command on this one, Command C and Command V, and I'm going to move it this way. And let's look at that from a few angles just to make sure I'm not impacting too much on that. 
And I'm going to press the home button now because every time I press the home button, it's going to zoom out to see everything that I have. Uh, and now I can actually grab the whole lot of these. One, two, three, four, and I'm pressing and holding shift. Alternatively, you could drag out like this. But it does tend to crash my computer sometimes when I do that. And I can press Command C and Command V on all of them. And I'm just going to go to the left hand side now. I'm going to zoom out. Uh, you can zoom out like that. And because I've zoomed out on this side, I'm going to drag them this way. And now I've got a heaps longer chain. Because I don't want it basically uh, my chain to go too long, otherwise it won't be able to print because it'll actually run out of print space. I'm now going to basically grab this link here uh, and this link here, and I'm going to press the move button, and I'm going to rotate it this direction, 90 degrees, and then I'm going to grab them again and just move them into a nice position. Oh, I shouldn't have used the middle button. Should never use the middle button. Escape. This one and this one. Move and move that way and move that way. No, I'm moving up. Escape. Let's just do it from the top view. That'll make it easy. If I use it from the top view, you can use this, but if you use this on, on any other view other than an exact side or top view, you'll start moving it sideways. I can now grab these guys, control this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I can press control C and control V. I can move it over here to about there. It's going to be good. I need to zoom out a bit up to here. But I've got to also rotate it that way by 90 degrees. And you can see that it's not quite lined up right. So if I go to top view and move it that way a bit and that way a bit, now we need to check that one. That's looking good. And I can just keep going with that length of chain there. I'm just going to go to the top there. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to grab the whole lot. You can see that that can take some time to figure out that it's got it all. I'm just going to move it all to the middle of my um, my stage here and then go back into my zoom. Now I want my ball for my ball and chain. So I'm going to create a ball here, a sphere, and the sphere, I'm going to make it, uh, look, I'll make it 30. Don't go any bigger than 30 for me. Um, that would be great if you don't do that. And then I'm going to look at it from the left view and I'm going to grab this ball and move it down so that that is actually sticking on there, uh, roughly where it should be, around about there. That looks about right. Let's go to top view now and make sure that that's lined up with the middle of that. That's pretty close. It doesn't need to be exact. And then I'm basically just going to grab this one here. I'm going to press Command C and Command V and I'm going to move it down here. And I'm going to move it into here. Um, I'll move it in as close as I can, otherwise it's not going to be as strong. Then I'm going to grab all these ones, pressing and holding shift and clicking on them so that they're all selected. And I'm just going to move them in a little bit closer. So we've got there. So we've got our ball and chain happening. Now, I'm not going to be keen to print that because that ball is solid. Um, so basically, the other thing we need to do, we need to grab our combine and we need to merge this and this together so that they're one object. And that'll just make it a bit stronger. To make it even stronger, um, we can actually just come in here um, and uh, I'm going to use my pan tool now just to get that into the right spot. And I'm going to click on this. Uh, so I've selected the ball and the little loop there. I'm going to click on that one there. I'm going to move, maneuver around so I can see this one as well. Press and hold shift and select that one. And I'm just going to put a small fillet on there. And I'm making a fillet of maybe three millimeters is too much. Two millimeters is great. And that's just going to make it that little bit stronger. 
so that the connection is a little bit stronger. Um, the next and final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow out the ball. The easiest way to hollow out a ball, let's go to a full view here, I'm going to turn it around, is to add a box. Now I'm going to make the box, uh, I'll make it uh, uh, 30 by tab 30, tab 30. So all those values down the bottom are 30. Now I'm going to look at it from the top view now. Zoom out so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to move it down and cross and down. And I just want to move it so that I need to scroll in to do this. I'm just going to move it so that it's maybe it's touching the ball there, maybe touching the ball by two millimeters. I need to look at this from the side view as well, and you can see it doesn't line up with the middle. So let's just move it down there. Now it's going to line up with the middle pretty well. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually subtract that box. So subtract the box from the ball. So I'm going to click on the ball, and then I'm going to click on the box. And it's just got a little, little bottom edge there. I can now click on that and click on this, and I can use the shell tool, and I'm going to change it to probably about a point four, maybe. Point four might make it strong enough. So basically, that will be a hollow, um, maybe point five. Command Z, click on that again shell, have a look inside so you, that you can see those. I want those to sort of be as close to closing as possible. 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Oh, got to have a, uh, my computer's now going to have a conniption because I've got an invalid, um, invalid operation. There we go, 0 0.6. And then I press enter on that. And that'll be good because it'll mean that I can hollow out uh, that ball It'll still be strong enough to 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 um, maintain its shape, um, and I could even put a light inside there if I really wanted to. But now I've got um, a ball and chain.